Hey, hot stuff. You looking mighty plump today. Don't touch me, Benedict. Oh, come on, Ashley. Don't be a tease. What's wrong with Ashley? She's all red, like she's upset or something. Oh, you know how those female fruits are. I think she thinks you are a creep. Every female fruit thinks Benedict's a creep. <laughs> hey, I'm just a fruit who knows what he wants, and Ashley's a babe. I really have a problem with Benedict. Every day it's some lewd joke or him touching me or both, and I'm sick of it. Benedict is a bit of an older fruit and he might not understand that he's coming on a bit too strong. Look, Paul, I like working here, but Benedict is a creep, and if you don't do something about it, I'll quit. Ah, hi, Benedict. Um, the reason I called you in is because I've received a handful of complaints from several other co-workers about you in regards to perverse comments, lewd behavior, inappropriate touching, and I, I just wanted to ask you personally, this, is there any truth to this, Benedict? Have you been sexually harassing other employees? Harassment? That's a bit much, don't you think? I'm just complimenting her. Look, Benedict, this is the third time this month I've had to call you into my office for this, and I'm tired of having this conversation. Just cut it out, will ya? Paul, Patey's for female fruits, no mine. Fruits like Ashley are just uptight. If you ask me, she just wants to sue and get some money out of the company. That's what fruit her age does. <sighs> Alright, that'll be all, Benedict. I'll talk to you later. Hello? Oh, Fruit Resources? Is something wrong? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there shortly. I haven't sexually harassed anyone. It's not like I said she has anything to do with me to keep working here. What you're referring to is the quid pro quo, but there's another form of sexual harassment that is just making the work environment hostile. This can be done with your actions, such as touching other employees inappropriately or your words, such as inappropriate jokes. From what some of the female fruits have told us, you've done this on multiple occasions. And Paul, you failed to resolve this conflict as a manager. That's why you're here. We're going to put you guys through a training program to help you. Benedict, to avoid these situations, and you, Paul, to approach such issues in the laws governing sexual harassment. After taking the program, I realized what I've been doing was way out of line. I thought I was just complimenting the girls. I didn't realize they were taking such offense to it. I've apologized to Ashley and the other female fruits, and I'm no longer making crude comments towards any of them or any fruits. Through the training program, I learned that these kind of situations should not be taken so lightly. They can cause a really hostile work environment and have severe repercussions both personally between coworkers and legally should someone sue. I'm just glad we got that situated before things got out of hand.